Welcome back, welcome back again. I thank you kindly for supporting what I do. And uh, also, you know, and the stuff that I offer for free, share it with a coworker, share it with friends. You know, uh, that's a good thing. Don't keep it all to yourself. I don't keep my knowledge to myself. Well, some I do, unless you pay for it, of course, but that's how I pay my bills, just like that's how you pay your bills. Now, in our previous video, before we get into setting up our database, I just want to share with you, here's our new coming soon, you know, little thing, and here's the original page that we had. So we did that very simply in Dreamweaver, no brainer, and since we set up the FTP, at any time we can just, boom, post that right to the server. Now, here's what we need to do. And again, if you don't have server access, I will give you server access for an incredible deal, 39 bucks for 12 months, it'll give you two months free, enough of that. Okay, there's a link, there'll be a link to that at the bottom of the page, bottom of this video. All right, so I'm going to go to myserver.com. Now, I'm going to use, I use a, uh, a backend admin called cPanel. Now, cPanel is a commercial product that you pay for, but it does come free with my hosting plans, and it does come free with most hosting plans like uh, GoDaddy and Bluehost, et cetera, et cetera. They use cPanel. Now, some of your larger hosting companies like uh, register.com or Akamai or, you know, Vario, they have so many servers, so cPanel is going to charge you per server, like, you know, something like 10 or 20 bucks a month. So let's think about that. If you have a company that has 100,000 servers, well, that adds up really, really quickly. So some of your larger, you know, gigantic hosting companies, like Vario, that has, you know, literally hundreds of thousands of servers, servers worldwide, they would basically create their own version of cPanel. But cPanel is the industry standard for a lot of cool stuff. So what you would do is go to your site.com, and again, if you're hosting with me, it works exactly what I'm sharing with is exactly how you'll get it. So the return key. Now, of course, that's going to say, you know, that it, if you're not on a secure server, et cetera, et cetera. So we're just going to click right here and I'm going to click right there and it's going to say you have to log in. So I'm going to put in my username and password and log into the server. So I put my username and password in and successfully logged into cPanel. Now for the very first time, you're gonna get this dialog box, this warning. Well, you know what? I don't wanna see this again because I know what I'm doing. So this is basically the cPanel is what comes with my hosting plans. It basically enables you to set up free WordPress accounts, et cetera, et cetera. Change your password. There's some video tutorials which I don't suggest you watch because they are confusing. No offense to cPanel, but they're not as straightforward as simple as me as mine, I should say. There's there's analytics for uh, you know all kinds of cool stuff here, which I talk about in other videos. Now, what we wanna pay attention, incidentally, if I click here, here's I can do my WordPress installation, one click, boom, done. So here's what we need to do. We need to set up a database. Now, again, for those of you that are new to this whole database stuff and you think your head's gonna fall off your shoulders, well, relax, I'm gonna make it really, really simple. But again, if you're watching this on Udemy, you want to take a note on a couple of things on how a database thinks and how it works and what it expects from you. Now, once again, whatever you do, just don't, don't confuse database with disabase. So what I'm trying to share with you, don't confuse this with that because you'll get very confused. Now, if you're a Marx Brothers fan, of course, that should make total sense to you. And again, I'm having fun with you. So database. So here's what we're going to do. Based on these choices, what do we want to do? Well, to keep this really, really simple for you, I'm gonna click database wizard. Now, what I wanna share with you, anytime you see the word wizard, uh, whatever software, whatever interface you have, wizard basically is a fancy word for going step by step, holding your hand, and that's what we're going to do. We're gonna click right here, database wizard. Now, I just wanna, again, get you in the thinking process of how the software thinks. So if you're on a shared hosting plan, then you're sharing the MySQL server. Now, I want to be extremely clear about what I'm going to tell you. You're not sharing your database with somebody else. You're sharing the server with somebody else. So there's a good chance if you call this, as an example, if you call this, you know, my store, there's a pretty good chance that somebody else on the server is calling their MySQL database my store or Amy's store or Tila's store or Jennifer's store or a John's store, et cetera, et cetera. So to prevent that from happening and conflicting with other server names because just like a folder on your desktop, files with the same name can't share the same space. So what cPanel does in its wisdom, it puts the username of your account as a prefix before whatever you call this. So I just wanna be crystal clear about that. So the name of our database is not gonna be just this, it's gonna be the username account underscore 
my store. Now again, if you subscribe and sign up for my hosting plan, then exactly verbatim, everything I share with you is gonna work exactly the same way on your hosting plan. And it's simply a next step. Now, what you'd wanna do here is come up with a username. So we're gonna come up with the username. So let's just call this, you know, ABC user. Then we're gonna come up with a password. Now, I'm not going to share with you the password I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna pick password generator right here and we're gonna generate a password. Now, what I highly suggest you do is whatever information it does create for you, copy and paste and put that into a safe place so next time you remember it. Now, the browser should remember all your password if you have those settings set up correctly. Now, I'm not gonna go to the next step because that's going to basically show you my username and password and I don't want people hacking into my website. So, I use the password generated to create a password. And basically, you should basically have a really strong password. If it's a password, it doesn't necessarily have to be a password you can remember every 10 seconds because the browser will remember that for you. So I highly suggest for security purposes to pick a very confusing password, uppercase, lowercase, numerals, underscores, pound symbols, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we're gonna click create user. Okay, so I just, I just realized that um, there's really no way to, uh, well actually there is a way, but I don't feel like doing it, blurring out my username and password. So the username and password you're about to see will be changed by the time this video publishes. So uh, for those of you that think you're gonna hack into my server, it's not gonna happen because I will change this information by the time the, <laughs> for those nefarious people out there. You know, this video is being published on YouTube, so I can't control the people that are watching it. So we're gonna create user. Now, we're not, I can remember this, so I'm just going to hit, uh, well actually I'll just remember it for now. Now, what I suggest you do is you copy and paste this information into some secure place on your computer or to make a backup copy, et cetera, et cetera. Now, here's what I want to share with you in working with databases. Since we're going to set up you and assume you're the owner of the site and you're the admin, then we're going to have all privileges. But I just want to share a concept with you. If you have people working for you or interns, et cetera, perhaps you just want them to basically create records, but you don't want them to delete records, et cetera, et cetera. Now, in my full-blown course on Udemy.com on developing e-commerce store and MySQL databases, et cetera, et cetera, of course, I go into great detail on the ins and outs of this. But this course here, this particular free video I'm posting on YouTube and Udemy, me is the goal of this is to set up a login form and a password protect my page etc etc so we're gonna next step okay so what you want to do from here is take this information and basically copy and paste this so it'll be available to you next time so we're done with that we're gonna hit home all right so in our next video, we're gonna go and basically create tables for the database, and I'll explain to you again how the database thinks.